Okay, we are here with a haul video. I have went to a couple of Goodwill, so I'm going to show you what I picked up to resell online. I am a full-time reseller, so that means I go out to thrift stores, consignment stores, garage sales, and I pick up items for cheap, and then I sell them for higher, hopefully, on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Depop, and Facebook Marketplace. That's the five sites that I sell on. I do use a cross-listing app. People have asked me before what I use. It is called Magic Crosslister, I think, or it's called Crosslist Magic. I always get them confused. It is a Chrome extension, so I list my items on eBay first because I feel like that's the spot where you have to put in the most item specifics, and then you can click on that listing and it'll automatically like populate almost all of the item specifics and the other ones. You just have to do a couple of little changes, but it's super quick and easy. I like it, especially because it's free. So I know some people use Flip as well, which is free, but I don't know. That's just which one I use and I like it. So we're going to get into what I picked up here. If you like reseller content and you're not currently subscribed and you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. Also down below, you can find my social media accounts. I have an Instagram, Facebook page, and a TikTok. My Facebook page, I don't post very often just because I feel like it just doesn't get hardly any traction. And it's just like almost everybody is on the other ones as well. So I wouldn't recommend joining that one. I don't know. It's just not the best. <laughs> also down below are links for everything I use for my business, my poly mailers, uh, storage items, my photo box, like my photo boothing, which I super love. That's where I have the camera right now because it's a really great lighting, uh, shoe racks, all kinds of stuff. If you're interested to see what I use, you can go ahead and check there. You can also use that Amazon link to purchase anything. It doesn't have to be for my business and it does give me a little bit of a kickback. So that is a way to support my business if you want to. Okay, let's get into it. Some of this stuff is for my brother and for Ryan because I pick up stuff from them and they give me a little bit of a commission. So I will tell you if it is, for example, this jacket. This is for Ryan. This is a cabbie jacket. It's kind of like a trench style coat. It is a blue, um, there is a belt somewhere. Oh, right here. Belted jacket. So it's pretty cute. It's a good like classic style mid-length jacket. He likes selling that brand. It's really easy to look up the styles. But I have a feeling pretty soon I'm going to be selling all that stuff because once he gets a job, he... I just, we just made a deal that I would just buy back everything for, I think like, I don't remember what I was going to do. It might just be like the cost of the item or I'll just average it out to maybe like three or not three, probably like four or $5 an item. And then I'll decide if I want to take them to consignment stores or sell it myself. Um, Ryan's also going to sell this. I do sell a lot of Catherine's, but he is low in inventory and he needs some stuff. So I'm giving this to him. It is a size two X with this like cream lace detail, maybe a three quarter sleeve top. I've picked up a ton of it recently and it has been selling good. I think I've been selling a couple items a day. Here is another like Irish wool sweater, which are selling really good right now. This is from Krana Hand Knits. It says also Donegal, which I've sold. It's 100% pure wool hand in Ireland. So here's what the tag looks like. So anytime you see like Ireland wool sweaters, I would definitely pick them up. This is a big chunky sweater. I am noticing now though, there's a little hole in the back. So here's a wood, the wood buttons are super cute. So I am going to have to list that a little bit lower because of the hole, but hopefully it won't make, see, there it is. Hopefully it won't make too much of a difference, but that sucks. I think I was like going fast when I found my yesterday. Oops. Okay. Um, this is an Eileen Fisher, again, starting to try to go through the short sleeves more because normally I don't get that much of profit like on average, but you can find some great items like this. Eileen Fisher, orange, linen, just like button front top. It's very boxy, oversized, really cute. So I was excited to find that. Um, this is for my brother. He will sell Under Armour polos a lot. He, I think he lots them together sometimes and sells like four for 80 or something like that. So I grabbed that for him. We have some Miss Me shorts. These are distressed like a USA Americana theme. So they are a size 27. I think these will do good. I've done well with the shorts and they only charge $6 at this thrift store. I do have some thrift stores that are not charging up for Miss Me. It's kind of rare, but there are some. Next is a good like goth uh, brand to be on the lookout for. It is the brand Killstar. 
So here's what the tag looks like. These are a size 4X, which is also amazing, but it does not look like that. But I think they're super stretchy. They're black and red plaid with a star. Is that something like bad? Uh, <laughs> satanic maybe? I don't know. And maybe it's not. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, when you see like the weird satanic rituals when people like draw a star on the ground. Okay, if it is, eh, pretend that's not there. Um, plaid skinny jeans with the zipper detail. So, um, I think these will do good. I've sold some, like, Killstar faux leather leggings. They didn't sell for a lot, but they did sell really quick. Here's my receipt. We have a pair of Spanx jeans. I've been really slowing down the Spanx, but the jean leggings do better than just, like, the black ones or even the faux leather ones. These are in a size medium. So just like a pair of blue medium wash, of course, super stretchy, skinny pull on jeans. I think they're called the jeanish legging, if I remember right, but there is a style number in there. So I'll be able to look at that up. Next, we have this really cute new with tags torrid t-shirt. Again, in the short sleeve section, it does have a uh, like cut out up by the top of the chest and it is a Foo Fighters shirt which is so cute. It was a size 2X. So I wanted to grab that. It's also like super soft. So we like that. And then the last thing in this bag is a Catherine's size 3X. This is a just pullover, kind of like a space dye, three quarter sleeve top, kind of a longer length, very comfortable, basic. Yay. Okay. Let's move on to the next bag. This is for my brother to sell. This is an Under Armour hoodie. Men's. I don't know what size. I guess if you guys see anything with the men's that you're interested in too, you can message me and I can ask him what his price would be if I haven't given him the items yet. So men's extra large. Very nice condition. So that's great. Next we have a Ralph Lauren cable knit sweater and these typically do well for me. This one is in a size extra large and it's 100% cotton made in Hong Kong. So possibly vintage. It does have the pony logo there. And I felt like with Christmas coming up, this is perfect for like a preppy style. It's really cute. I really like it. So I was excited to find that. And then I kind of like debated about this one, but I did end up getting it because of the material. So the brand is Vince. Vince is expensive, but it doesn't hold its resale value very well normally. This is a size large, but it's 100% silk uh, green short sleeve top with like the side slits. So I did decide to get it because it was silk and because it's a size large. If it was like an extra small, I don't know. Or if it wasn't silk, like I probably definitely wouldn't have gotten it. But I think it being silk will do better. Okay, and then next is a Tommy Bahama shirt. So I got this for my brother. This is a Modal blend. It's a red short sleeve polo. This is in a size large. And then there's another one somewhere. I guess we'll see if I find it. Oh, I also got him this. I don't know anything about jerseys, but he's like, sure, I'll take it. It's a Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, this player, Ro Roethlisberg. <laughs> uh, yeah, no clue about that. He said he's gonna sell it. So I was happy to get it for him. Uh, this is the one pair of shoes that I got yesterday. These are a pair of Stuart Weitzman burgundy suede heels. Just a good classic round toe. Again, this could be really cute with a holiday or a Christmas dress. They are a size 8.5 W. So does that mean wide? Um, they're in really good condition on the bottom. Pretty clean. So I was excited to find those. I'm not getting very many heels these days. They've got to be something pretty special. Like on my rack back there, I see some Sam Edelmans that I thought would do good and they're not. Um, I think I have a pair of Kate Spade. Those also aren't doing very good. There's a couple that I got in my rescue boxes that are flawed. So it's like, I really hardly don't have very many good heels. So they just, it's just like something that doesn't sell amazing for me. Okay. This is new with tags Duluth trading. Um, I did look up the style and it's in a size two X, which is great. I don't remember what it is, something cooling shirt, but it's this orange plaid, long sleeve, lightweight shirt. The comps looked good, so I decided to pick that up. 
Next we have a pair of democracy jeans. These are a size 14. These are the Ab Technology pair of jeans and these are a medium wash, probably high to mid rise skinny jeans. No distressing, those are in good condition. Here's the other Tommy Bahama that I got for my brother. It's the same size, large, only that one's blue. We have a pair of Nike shorts for myself. I have never bought my athletic shorts from a retail store. Since I've been doing this job, I should say. Okay, another pair of Democracy jeans. These ones are a size 10, Absolution again. They are a, a darker wash with some whiskering and I think they're a boot cut or possibly a flare. So really cute style on those. I think those will do a little bit better than the skinnies, but I've still been doing okay with skinny jeans in larger sizes. And then we have another one, Democracy 14, Ab Technology, blue, medium wash. I think these are a skinny ankle. Again, no distressing, very classic. And then I have this sweatshirt dress. This is an outdoor brand that I like to sell. And it is by the brand Toad & Co. It is in a size medium, navy blue, hooded, long sleeve sweatshirt dress. I looked up comps. Sell through rate was pretty good. Comps are around 30, I think. So I'm gonna try to get that. It's got the pockets here up front. So super cute and cozy. Okay, it's the afternoon. I just worked out and took a shower. So that's when my hair is wet. I went shopping some more, so I wanted to show you what I got because I felt like the first part of the video wasn't really that long. So, we'll just get right into my new stuff. First, I found a pair of Eileen Fisher pants in a size medium. These were half off, which means they were, I still am confused by this because I've been to the store like three or four times in the past month and I don't think I would pass these up. Like this is the tag, which means it has gone all the way through and nobody bought it, but I'm like, I would have bought these. So I don't know what's going on with that, but they are size medium. And I think they're like the washable crepe, like pull on business type of pants. So that's nice, they were half off. These are Athleta and they are size eight petite. This is the Brooklyn ankle pant. These have been doing so good for me. I can tell with this like ribbing down the side. They do have the Brooklyn ankle joggers too, but the other ones have like this slit. These ones are navy blue. Every time I've been listing these, they've been selling pretty quickly around 25 to $35. Next, I just picked these up recently and I got some more. My other ones were in a size large. These are um, extra large. These ones are in a size large. Cabby um, skirted leggings. This skirt layered over leggings look has always done good for me from the brand. Here comes Ellie. Uh, next are a pair of Allen Edmonds shoes. I've been picking these up more again and they've been doing good. These ones are the Sanford style in a size nine and a half. They're a black leather uh, like Oxford dress shoe. Next are a pair of Everlane jeans. These are black size 31 curvy high rise skinny. So like I said before, skinny jeans are still doing okay for me. They feel like they're 100% cotton, no stretch. Um, Everlane jeans, actually not very much Everlane sells very good, but that usually sells fast if they're a bigger size than the jeans. Okay, here's the other Allen Edmonds shoes. Okay, uh, Bolo, this was exciting to find. I found Missoni. So when I first saw it, I was like, please don't be the Target collaboration. Don't you guys hate that? This one is not. Missoni made in Italy. It's a purple and like tan and black striped sweater with this like flutter open sleeve. Um, I don't know the exact comps in this because I didn't look it up because I was like, I'm getting Missoni at the thrift store for $3.99. So I was trying to look for the fabric content, but I didn't see it right off the bat. So I'll have to just maybe Google lens this or ask Ryan to, and we'll see what I can find out about this. I was excited. I have not found a Sony in a long time. So that was great. This is a Catherine's 2X knit top. It is like a teal, almost like a poncho with these sleeves, like big flowy sleeves and um, same pattern down there at the bottom. I'm gonna give that to Ryan to sell. 
Next we have a pair of, no, not a pair. This is a cool size medium skirt. I might try this on. And if I don't like it, I'll sell it. I did an arm workout and every time I'm lifting them up, now my shoulders are like mega sore. Okay, size medium, burgundy, knee length. It does say cool right down here. A good outdoor brand to be on the lookout for. If I don't keep this, I'm guessing it'll sell around 20 or $25, but I haven't looked up that exact style. This is one of my favorite brands to sell lately. It's IC by Connie K. In a size small, the larger sizes do better. I just sold something from this brand this week. This is a striped, it's got this big button um, jacket. So they're kind of like artsy pieces, I feel like normally. And then I think this is another one, yes. So I'm assuming this is the same person. This one's also striped, a little bit more flowy, open, um, mid-length like jacket, good for layering and things like that. Next, we have a Title IX sweater. This is another outdoor brand. I think this might be a little bit of an older piece, but it is a merino wool blend, which is why I got it. It's a size small green, kind of like a Henley fitted sweater. So hopefully that'll do good with the current season. Next, we have a Free People top. I'm going to give this to Ryan. It is We The Free, size medium, big oversized thermal, with the contrasting balloon sleeves. So I've sold this style plenty of times before, around 20 bucks, maybe 25. So hopefully he can sell that before he quits reselling. <laughs> Next we have a Soft Surroundings 1X. I just had a Soft Surroundings 1X dress sell within a day, so that's great. Actually, this is extra large, sorry. It is a burgundy hooded long sleeve tunic with like a velvet trim. So thinking like Christmas, holidays, I could put those as keywords. Plus this brand is better for me in bigger sizes anyway. And then the last thing in this bag is a J. McLaughlin dress. This is in a size eight. I've done pretty decent with this brand. This is a striped, what style of dress is this? Is this a shift dress? I always forget. But it has these little like bows almost all over so it's super cute it is a hundred percent cotton no cotton and polyester blend so anyway cute office work kind of like a coastal vibe with the blue and white stripes i feel like okay this was the third store i went to which i didn't find very much because i was just there last week like on thursday but I checked it again anyway. He, this is a pair of Pico Linos boots. I just sold a pair of men's shoes for $30. And so these are a brown ankle zip buckle boots. They are in a size 38. So I'll double check because every once in a while it's not the same, but I think that's a US size 8. So we'll see when I go to list those what size that actually is. I'll double check. Um, and we have a pair of Cole Haan men's leather oxford dress shoes these are in excellent condition they were eight dollars and they are a size 10. so cole Haan is super easy to look up right inside here there's a uh, letters and numbers with a c so i can find the style then i can look up comps if i want to use a stock photo i can so lots of good information there and then these are cole Haan as well these are super lightweight they're almost like a felt navy blue low top sneakers Oh, my heat went off. Uh, men's size 10 again. So good casual lightweight shoe there. And then we have a pair of Lululemon leggings. I think these are a line possibly. Is that right? Um, they're a size two. I think there's a size dot in here with numbers. Yeah. So I'll look that up. Uh, purple, kind of like an ombre because they do get a little darker at the bottom. Full length, extra soft. So I was excited to find that. I, I really am trying to do good with not picking up Lululemon crops because they are not doing good for me. So, so far so good. Okay, this is a Duluth trading skirt in a size medium. Also I'm gonna try on, but I feel like it looks big. I don't know. I feel like it looks kind of big, but maybe not. Um, gray, knee length, similar to the cool skirt. 
if I don't want to wear it, I will sell it. It does have built-in shorts. This is still a decent brand to sell. Some items do better than others, and they have style numbers, so you can super easy look up comps. This one, I think, is a Soft Surroundings Plus size. Yeah, that's a Soft Surroundings 1X. This is a floral, long sleeve, button-up, like, tunic length, flowy, pretty little top. So I grabbed that. And then we have a Figs extra large scrub top. This was on a new rack when I walked in. I don't know if it's, I think it's women's, um, but Figs also has a style number inside on the tag. So I will check that. And then the last thing in this bag is a Catherine's 3X purple printed, like short sleeve, cute top, kind of springy, but that's okay. And then let's get into the last bag. And then I go up and make dinner. Okay, the first thing we have is this super pretty dress. So I do not get this brand very often. It is Eliza J, but I looked this up and it's still on the website. It's a size two. So here's what the top looks like. It's like this lace beaded, really pretty like high neck cap sleeve top. And then the bottom is like a big, long black full skirt. It does have some tulle underneath. So I feel like this is just super pretty. If somebody like gets fancy for Christmas or New Year's, that would be really pretty. And I didn't want to leave it behind. It was only $10 and it retails for like 200 something or $300. Okay, I got a um, fig set, which I haven't found a set together in like forever. This was on a new rack. It's a size extra small. So extra small teal. It says just saving lives, NBD. I think that's cute. Um, figs. So I don't know the style of this top, but I'll look it up. And then hopefully the pants are the same size. Oh, shoot. The pants are a size small. So do you guys think I should sell these together or separate? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. These are a jogger style pants. So a good, cute style, but they are different sizes. So I don't know if I should list them together or separate. It's obviously like someone bought them together, but I don't know. Okay, next we have a possible new with tags, Eileen Fisher. I don't know. I mean, new without tags. I feel like if it has this, like you didn't wear it, but would you guys list this as new without tags? It's a size medium, like just an oversized boxy, like kind of sleeveless, kind of cap sleeve. It's silk, I think. Yeah, 100% silk. I mean, if I was wearing this, I would not leave on that white tag. So that's my opinion. We shall see. Another pair of figs. And these are a size extra small. They are gray. S probably the same style as the last one. Jogger style. The jogger styles do better for me than the straight legs. So I really am trying to look for those. They have a big, super long coat by... Eddie Bauer. This is a size small. It is down filled. It's got the faux fur hood. It is a 550 fill and it is extra, extra long. Like it would probably go down for a short person, maybe to their ankles, maybe like mid calf, but that should do good. I'm selling my coats really fast right now. So I definitely wanted to get that. Um, this, even though it says Disney, like I've sold so much. I know that this is torrid just by looking at like the way the number is, the size, the material. So it's a Disney torrid collab and it's so cute. Look at all the little cats. This is Marie. So, you know, I had to get that because I'm obsessed with Disney. My sister's going to Disney on Sunday for one day. She's taking her son, Brad, while her husband and daughter go to a pickleball tournament because she didn't want to go on another girl's trip until she all of her kids have went. And I took her other son last year. So she's taking Brad one day. They're going to go to Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios, but she doesn't know what she's doing. So if you've ever been to Disney before, you know that like planning really does make a difference. So I'm going to log into her app and like do everything for her from here and be slightly jealous. Um, these are for my brother to sell. These are cool in a size 34, 30. They are a pair of green outdoor pants. I didn't even ask him if he wanted those. I just assumed, oh, I'm going to save this for last because it's like so exciting. 
That was what was in my thumbnail, which you might be able to tell from the thumbnail, but that's okay. I'm still going to save it for last. Okay. This is Pilcro. This is a newer tag. It's kind of like almost like a little suede material, but it's this cute black V-neck thermal top. And it says lyrical something, lyrical mirage festival, whatever that is. But I think it's cute. It's fitted black thermal. It's a newer thing from Anthropology, so I definitely wanted to get that. This is, I think, a top. I got it. It's free people. I got it because it's size extra large, and I never find free people in extra large. Okay, but it's really weird because, look, I think it's meant to go, like, off shoulder. But, like, look how long this sleeve is. It's, like, kind of ruched. And then this is kind of, like, asymmetrical because then look how long, like, this sleeve is. It's still going. Like, what? That's really long. So hopefully it has a style number in there that tag isn't cut out because I need to figure that out. But free people, extra large, yes. Okay, Catherine's. I've never seen, say, curvy collection, so that was interesting. But this is a dress by Catherine's in a size 3X. I think it's a midi dress. It's like green and black, almost like a striped printed. It's very stretchy, like a jersey knit. So I did want to grab that. This is a black torrid shirt. This is a super soft knit in a size three. I think I'm going to get this for Ryan to sell. It is a skull. So a really cool graphic with the flowers. I'm noticing like this tag right here. So I wonder if it is new because it doesn't seem like it's been washed at all. But if not, it's in excellent condition. So yay for that. And then I got another super soft knits by Torrid. This is a size two and it is a ribbed um, short sleeve pink fitted top v-neck. It's just a cute little like basic. So I'm going to give that to Ryan too. And then I like never get this brand anymore, but I feel like this was like too cool to leave behind. It's Boston proper, but this is like velvety square neck, like ruched. I don't even know what all this print is like animal reptile colorful something was like you have to get this so I got it sometimes I just do that okay here is my first time ever finding baby designer it was in the women's section Emilio, Emilio Pucci baby look at it oh my gosh it's like bling little tiny white shirt. If I had grandkids or like if I knew I was going to somewhat soon, I would save this. This is so cute. I don't know how much it retailed for. Maybe I'll look and pop it up in the screen. But I was like, oh my gosh. And I feel like somebody grabbed it and then put it back in the women's section because why would it be in the women's? And it has like the tags and everything in here. So it's authentic. It has like some little numbers. It's a cotton blend, but I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. So that's it for my haul, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below how your sales have been. Today has sucked for me, but the weekend was good. I don't know if I beat one sale yet today, and it's like fourth for me. So that's slightly depressing. Hopefully, tonight gets better, but that's how this goes in this business. I will see you guys on Friday for a what sold video. Thank you again for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't yet.